Hi, good morning. What can I get for you? A medium. Now a sweet cream cold brew. Thank you so much. Yay. What do you do when you're sad? First kiss story. Have you ever had doubts about your relationship and how did you get over it? I'm sorry to tell you, but you definitely should go and find somebody else. Oh my god, it was so cringy. My boyfriend stopped caring about his appearance and I'm starting to lose attraction. What do I do? You see, I never really thought I would be talking about this on the internet. Hello, good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sam. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. I'm just a girl trying out here, really giving it her all. So I'd really appreciate if you subscribed if you want to. You don't have to, it's really your decision. But anyways, it is Monday morning. I'm very bored and I need a video for tomorrow. So as you guys know, I post on Tuesdays and Fridays every single week. I literally never miss a day, so I need a video for tomorrow and I really wanted to go get some coffee so I figured we can go take the little trip to Starbucks together because it's like one of my favorite things to do and we can chat chat it up together as if you're in my passenger seat I put on my Instagram story yesterday for you guys to ask me some questions some juicy girl talk questions cuz you know I feel like that's like kind of what you talk about with your friend while you're going to get some coffee so we're gonna have fun let's go because I haven't had coffee yet and I need it you're gonna see by the end of this video my energy level is gonna sky I rock it once I take my first sip of caffeine. So let's get this show on the road. Before we begin the questions and stuff, which I figured I would wait till after I get the actual coffee, why don't we do some life updates? This week ahead of me is very hectic, very busy, but it's gonna be very, very fun and I'm going to be filming it all, so you guys better stay tuned. Me and my boyfriend are celebrating our five year anniversary on Wednesday, I believe. I feel like that's like the first big milestone in a relationship, like five years. It's like halfway to 10. So to celebrate our five-year anniversary, my boyfriend planned a little fun day for us in New York City. We are going to be staying in a hotel for two nights in the city and we're going to be doing just like fun stuff. I'm very excited. I'm going to be vlogging the entire thing. We got a really, really nice hotel. One last life update that I have is I've been really thinking about wanting to start a podcast. I've talked about before on my channel. I've mentioned it several other times. I don't know what the details of it i just know that i want to start one so i need you guys to comment if you would actually listen to it and like what kind of things you would want me to talk about and stuff like that because i kind of like really want to do it but i feel like i need like a push like i need some motivation to actually do it so if a good amount of you guys say that you would want to see one and you would listen definitely comment it because i feel like that might be the push that i need to actually just like start one so let me know i'm very excited it's just like something i've been thinking about about a lot so yeah i'm about to pull up to starbucks i'm gonna get my coffee and then we're gonna get into the real juicy questions that you guys have and we're gonna chat some more let's do it hi good morning what can i get for you hi can i have a medium vanilla sweet cream cold brew with light sweet cream okay it's gonna be 466 thank you so much you know when you like finish ordering but the car like in front of you like didn't move up yet so you just like still have to stay here like just like Awkwardly. Thank you so much. You too. Yay. Okay, everybody, we have the coffee. I parked because every single time I try to drive and film at the same time since I don't have a tripod, I always end up either almost crashing or ruining my camera by having it fly across the entire car. So I just pulled over and we're just gonna chat and answer some questions while we drink our coffee. We're gonna have a little coffee talk. I'm gonna pull up the questions you guys asked me on my Instagram story. I said to make them juicy, so I have no idea what kind of questions are in here, but I'm gonna try to answer every single one truthfully and honestly. I'm also not gonna put the names of the people who ask these questions just because I don't know if you guys want that to be on the internet or if you guys want me to put your names. So I'm just gonna do anonymous just to be safe. So the first one I got is, what do you do when you're sad? This happens a lot because for some reason I just find myself being sad a lot and most of the time it's like for no reason mostly just like my anxiety and depression just makes me sad for no reason and that's like the most annoying part when there's like no reason for it so the thing that i have been trying to do that really helps me is to get out of bed like i know for most people when you're sad what you want to do is just go in your room lock yourself in your room go in your bed and just lay there for the rest of the day and i used to do that and i thought that it was helping me but i think in turn it actually was making me more sad and more depressed so so now my new rule is if I'm feeling a certain way or if I'm feeling sad, I don't let myself lay down 
at all i try to take that energy and put it into something either productive or just like going for a walk just get your body moving um talk it out whether you're talking to yourself if you speak it it'll get it off of your mind and you'll be able to see like okay maybe this isn't as bad as i think it is um i do this a lot because sometimes i don't really like talking about certain things to people like sometimes i just want to keep it to myself which is perfectly fine so if you don't want to talk about it with somebody else literally talk about it with yourself but if you speak it it kind of just like releases it from your mind if you just keep it trapped in your head it's just gonna like build and build and build you're just gonna have all these bad thoughts in your head but if you say it all out loud just let it out into the universe or write it down in a journal you'll get it out of your mind and you'll be able to move forward and just know that it's temporary that's another big thing to tell yourself it is temporary it is never gonna last forever you will always move forward and you will always feel better no matter what trust me i promise that is a fact it will not last forever okay this next one says first kiss story um you see i never really thought i would be talking about this on the internet because i kind of try to always push it so far out of my brain that it almost like didn't happen but for the sake of this video and for you guys i will tell you my first kiss story it was very embarrassing and just like literally the first kiss scene that you would see in like a movie like is kind of what happened to me so um <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I really wanted to get my first kiss over with because I just thought like it was the most awkward thing in the world And I was very shy. I was very awkward around boys. I never really talked to boys I was probably like 14 or 15 It was like my freshman year of high school and I really just wanted to get it over with because everybody already had their first kiss Everybody was like making out with each other and I didn't so there was this one kid that was in my classes This is so fucking weird. There's this one kid that was like kind of my friend friend like we were kind of friends from school and i did not really like i didn't like him or anything like it wasn't like that like we were just friends so at least i was like a little bit more comfortable with him because i was friends with him and i don't even remember how it happened but we were at this like party type of thing he, like one of my friends came up to me and was like oh like this person wants to kiss you or something oh my god it was so cringy i don't even understand and i was like oh like i don't think so like we're, we're just friends like that'll make it weird because we're friends and like we have classes together like that'll be so weird and so i was like no like i'm sorry but no and then they went and like they told him what i said and then they came back and they're like no like he said it's not gonna be weird it's just for fun it's just like because he wants to or whatever and so i was like oh my god like i literally like i have a problem with like saying no and like denying people because i just like don't want to hurt their feelings i like get scared i don't know what to say and at the same time i was like okay maybe i could just like get it over with and even though this is definitely gonna be weird like maybe this is my chance to just get it over with you know so long story short i finally make my way over to this person and we're just standing there and like literally the middle of this weird party it was just so i just remember it being so awkward we were just like making really weird small talk but we both knew like why we were standing there i don't even know how it happened all i know is that we had a literal half a second kiss like a literal like just like that like such a heck i literally just, like kissed him and then just ran away to my friends and i was just like we need to leave <laughs> like i don't want to be here anymore it was just so weird and then the next day at school we just pretended like nothing fucking happened and i just like every time i think about that i just like cringe so hard it was so weird i just ran away i didn't even say anything i just ran away so <laughs> but then my second kiss was better and i was like a completely different person i think it's more just like if you're doing it with somebody that you actually want to kiss it's like so much better you know so don't just try to get your first kiss over with actually wait until you find like the right person that you like want to kiss because trust me it'll just make it better okay this one says have you ever had doubts about your relationship and how did you get over it yes 100 percent i've had doubts about my relationship i'm not gonna sit here and be like no like we were perfect everything was perfect all the time like me and sam actually went through a lot in our relationship because we got together so young if you guys don't know me and my boyfriend started dating in 2016 which is almost five years ago and before that we were like kind of talking for like a year or like half a year so we've been together for a very long time and we were only like 16 when we started dating which is so young and now that i'm 21 it's like so crazy to look at 16 year olds like my little cousins who are 16 and i'm just like whoa like they're so little 
and like that's how young I was and from 16 to 21 those are your most developmental years where so much changes happen you grow so much as a person you are still discovering who you even are I still don't even know who I am and I'm 21 so I feel like of course you're gonna have doubts of course you're gonna be anxious about your relationship and like having these thoughts especially in my situation where I never even got to experience dating anybody else like this is my only boyfriend that I've ever had in my entire life I obviously have have had other experiences with boys but like never on a relationship type level and I feel like you learn so much being in relationships so since I never had any other prior experience of course I'm gonna have doubt but we have really managed to get through them and come back stronger each time and I feel like that is what a relationship is all about like if it's worth it then you guys are gonna make it through those hard times and those doubts that you have are then solved and they're no longer doubts in your mind i would say the best way to get over them is is to just deal with them head on and really just think about like what you want in your life what you want in your relationship what you want for the future and see if that person that you're with lines up with those wants and your goals because if they don't line up that i promise you it's going to cause so much conflict in the future and you don't want like a messy breakup or anything so just literally deal with them head on and really just think is this person going to be able to give me everything that i want out of life and if the answer is no then i'm sorry to tell you but you definitely should go and find somebody else because life is so freaking short and you shouldn't be settling for anybody who is not going to be able to give you what you want because i promise you there will be somebody who is 100 percent ready and able to give you what you want that's my advice nobody's perfect things happen and that is literally just life okay this one says have you ever had a really bad waxing experience i've actually only tried to get waxed once in my life and when i left there i was like i'm never coming back to this place ever again but that was a few years ago basically i was going on vacation with my boyfriend's family and this waxing place near my house was doing a like get your first wax free or something so i was like you know what maybe i'll try it out for vacation why not um i was gonna do my whole brazilian but i kind of chickened out once i got there and i was like okay i'm just gonna do my bikini line because that's what I really needed for anyways because I'm gonna be in a bathing suit my experience was only bad because I didn't wait the appropriate amount of time before going when you go to get wax especially in certain areas you have to let it grow out a lot so that the wax has something to stick to and I didn't really know that so mine like wasn't as grown out as you're supposed to have it so it hurt way more and it didn't really work as well as the wax didn't have that much to stick to and she had to like tweeze it was just so painful it hurt so bad and I was like, okay, I'm just never coming back. Like, I'd rather just shave. But now that I'm older, I really think that I want to try it again. But I'm, like, kind of scared. So I'm, like, kind of building up the courage. So I would say try it out because I kind of want to try it out. And if you do try it out, let me know. Okay, some of these questions are very juicy. I don't know if I want this on the internet. Okay, this is actually a really good question. It says, my boyfriend stopped caring about his appearance and I'm starting to lose attraction. What do I do? Okay literally this is like probably gonna sound so messed up but like it's a very real thing like i know you like probably feel bad like okay why am i feeling these things like that's so like shallow of me to like start like losing feelings just because he's like you know letting himself go a little bit but like i feel like i kind of understand that like not speaking from experience but i think i could imagine how you must feel especially if like you know your, your partner is not really putting in as much effort as they used to to like look good for you and like you know dress up once in a while and keep that spark alive so i definitely understand i think your feelings are very valid you definitely have to be careful with this like you don't want to straight up say it to them or like make them feel bad about it because you know that just happens in life like not everybody like some people just get very comfortable and they just don't feel like they have to try as hard so i would say it's all about how you say it and where you say it and when you say it so i would just like kind of drop some hints you know maybe you just like really pamper yourself and like get yourself all dressed up and like plan a date for you guys and like really go all out for the date like do whatever you like to do like your hair your makeup you know maybe get your nails done and stuff see if he also does the same like gets dressed up and like wants to go on this nice date with you maybe be like you know maybe go get a haircut or brush your teeth and wash your face and just like say it kind of nicely or maybe like say it kind of as a joke but like not a joke you know what i mean i honestly don't know this is kind of a hard situation because you don't want to be mean i don't know let me know how it goes though next question do you think you can work through a partner cheating no absolutely not next um 
What was your first date like? Um, my first date with Sam, if that's what you mean, is we went to the city. We went to New York City. We were like 16 or 17. We took the bus into the city and we went to Shake Shack. I remember I was very nervous to eat in front of him, so I had like three french fries and I was like, I'm full. I'm not hungry, even though I was literally like starving. And then we walked around the city. We went to like some stores and then we came home. We were like so young. That was our first real date. Other than that, we just like hung out at like one of our houses. This one said, I can't forgive my best friend. She treated me too badly. Have you ever lost a close friend? If you need to lose a friend, like just do it. You're gonna be sad for a little bit, but I promise you're gonna be so much happier, especially if you're surrounding yourself with like better vibes and just like better people who actually care for you. It's just so much better and you will find more friends. You will meet new people. You will make new friends. It's literally fine. Like this stuff happens all the time to people you move on you drift away from people that are no longer serving you that's just life like some people are put in your life for only a certain amount of time you learn something from them and then you move on and you go and you meet new friends she really did something that bad to you that you like can't forgive and you guys can't move forward and like make it work then just move forward you know you don't have to hate her you guys don't have to be on bad terms you know wish her the best but there's always gonna be somebody else that you can be friends with that is just gonna be way better for you so yeah I'm very sorry that that happened to though okay i think that that's pretty much it for all the questions i think that that was a good chunk of questions and we touched upon some very juicy topics so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below what you guys want to see from me i'm kind of running out of video ideas and i really like filming videos like this but then i kind of get in my head and i get nervous that you guys like hate videos like this and you don't want to just see me sitting and talking and like answering questions so like i don't know I just don't know. This is what I think all the time. So you guys have to let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you for those who wrote in questions and, you know, wanted my advice. I hope I was helpful in some way or another. So yeah, I'm going to go finish my coffee, edit this video. Like I said, I'm going to be filming a lot this week. I have a lot of fun things happening. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for 50K subscribers. I'm so, so grateful. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.